This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Need a website, domain, portfolio, or an online store? Make it with Squarespace. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit messy because I'll be going over a controversial tweet thread that I made on Twitter and how it got me unsuccessfully cancelled. I'm being a bit dramatic for entertainment purposes because I obviously didn't actually get cancelled, but rather I got a ton of backlash on a thread where I was attempting to give what I thought to have been helpful advice to my fellow artists on how to price commissions. The tweet really blew up and garnered a huge response which was mostly negative. Some of it was deserved because of my vague wording, but most of it was unnecessary and over the top in the way only Twitter knows how. Partially it's my fault too for giving this unsolicited advice in the first place when nobody asked but I do think that the responses I got were a bit too much at times. People genuinely seem to have gotten offended by what I had to say even though I shared pretty general advice that I've learned over the years. In this video, I want to go over my thread, explain my side, and clarify the points I tried to make in it. This is an explanation video, so buckle up and get ready for some Twitter drama. Before we get started, however, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-around great option for anyone who wants to create a beautiful website. At this time, it's pretty important to have an online presence and with Squarespace's effortless interface, making one has never been easier. Whether it's for the purpose of making a portfolio, an online store or a blog, Squarespace is the perfect option to go with. The process of making your own website is so easy and fast thanks to Squarespace's diverse tools like customizable templates, starter layouts, and endless design options. You can also have access to marketing tools and analytics in case you want to run an online business. I personally made a portfolio using Squarespace's easy layout templates and I love the way it ended up looking. I highly recommend you all check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash stumin to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. The link is in the description. Thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Please do not go out of your way to harass, bully, or attack any of the Twitter users I might address or talk about. Don't go find this thread for the sole purpose of arguing with the responses either, because that is not why I'm making this video. I simply want to open this dialogue and explore why people felt attacked or offended by the advice I gave while also clarifying what I meant in my thread. So please, let's have a respectful conversation about it all in the comments. I think this would be a valuable conversation to have and you guys might learn something from it too, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So this all started when one day in April I was looking back and reminiscing on my old commissions and how I felt like I had been selling myself short for all these years. This inspired me to make a thread on Twitter, hoping to warn artists of not falling for the same mistakes as I did and how to efficiently price their commissions without being lowballed or possibly even exploited. I wanted to share the knowledge I had gathered from my time as an artist and hoped that what I had to share would be valuable for those reading it, but it all went south soon after I shared my advice. The fact that I shared this on Twitter didn't really help my case either and the thread quickly blew up, garnering almost 30,000 likes, thousands of retweets, and hundreds of quote tweets and comments. Most of them either hurt, misinformed, or outright angry. I have to clarify that there were many who agreed with me as well, but the backlash was way louder and most of the responses were either passive-aggressive, calling me delusional, or pitting small artists against bigger artists which I'll discuss later on in this video. Let me hold up and read this controversial tweet thread for you guys before I continue. So I tweeted, Notice for all artists doing commissions. Do not charge $30 for an artwork that took you 10 hours to create. That would be working for $3 per hour, which isn't even the minimum hourly rate. You should charge an hourly rate to assure that you get compensated for the time and work you put into your artwork. An art student should charge anywhere from $25 to $50 per hour on average. So if you take 10 hours to create an illustration, you should get paid $250 to $500 for your work. A more seasoned or skilled artist would usually charge anywhere from $100 to $250 per hour. That would be $1,000 to $2,500 for 10 hours of work, which fluctuates depending on what kind of work you're doing. Of course, this all depends on skill level and client, but it's an estimate to go by. 
I found these estimates from Google, so these aren't just some random rates I'm pulling out of my ass. These are industry standard averages for illustrator students and professionals. The prices heavily depend on the artist's skill set, clientele, their niche, their expertise, what kind of work they do, and many other variables that I of course forgot to mention on my thread. I continued by adding, so please for the love of god do not sell yourself short. I'm tired of seeing y'all charge $15 for full blown 10 out of 10 illustrations. It's daylight robbery at this point. Also disclaimer, you're still free to charge less than what I mentioned, but just try and not work for $1 an hour. At this point of the thread, I started already getting pushback for the rates I shared, which is why I added a clarification to my thread when I saw the discourse getting heated. I tweeted, Addition. For those of you worried that you won't get commission at all if you charge what you're actually worth, I understand that fear. But wouldn't it be better to wait for someone who pays you at least minimum wage than someone who expects you to work for less than $1 an hour? Of course, I'm not forcing y'all to do anything, just giving a heads up that some of you are being exploited and used. Please value your hard work, talent, blood, sweat and tears more. You deserve to get compensated correctly and not undermined. The thread started to blow up and the discourse grew to a point where it was hard for me to keep up what was going on. I noticed that many were truly offended by my thread and were literally calling it a slap in the face for smaller artists due to me wanting them to not undercharge so I had to add a final clarification to my thread before I finally muted it. Here's what I had to say. Update. It seems that this thread upset many smaller and newer artists doing commissions as they feel like they can't apply these tips to themselves when doing commissions. I just want to clarify that it's okay to charge what you want and I'm not forcing you to change anything. The advice on this thread is very general as it all depends on skill and what kind of commissions you're doing. It's totally okay for newer artists to charge less and build experience and a clientele when they are just starting out. Over time, you can start charging more if you want. This thread is general advice to those wondering what the minimum wages for artists would be. It's supposed to give you an estimate that you can apply to yourself depending on your skills, what kind of commissions you do, and your lifestyle. This isn't a dick or an attack against you as an artist. I've been a small artist underselling myself too, and I came to a realization that I'm doing myself a disservice when I did that. I changed it and I'm happier for it. I wanted to help you guys realize this too with this thread, but it seems like I missed the mark on that. Point is, don't feel like I'm slapping you in the face or disrespecting you for telling you to value your time and effort more than $1 per hour. The choice is yours in the end and I won't judge you for whatever decision you make, that's up to you. I'll be muting this now. After making this thread, the general responses I got ranged anywhere from artists saying it's outrageous to charge that much, to some disagreeing on the idea of charging hourly rates at all, to others claiming that I'm privileged for thinking that artists should charge minimum wage in the first place. Out of these responses, which I'll get to all of them, I want to start off with the easiest which is the debate around hourly wages when it comes to freelance illustration and art specifically. One thing I didn't have space or time to elaborate on Twitter is the range of charging hourly and the fact that it isn't the only way to charge for your work. You could either choose to charge a flat rate or go with an hourly rate when deciding how to charge for commissions. I personally brought up industry standard hourly wage averages for illustrators so that those reading my thread could use them as rough estimates to go by when charging for commissions. The rates that I mentioned aren't something that fell out of thin air. They are recognized and often used rates that professionals and art students use when working with clients. And they are heavily reliant on the work that is being commissioned, the client, the skill of the artist and as I said before, many other variables. According to one source, like many freelance creatives, professional illustrators benefit from understanding the average rates within their field before approaching clients about work. According to a range of reputable sites, the average hourly rate for a freelance illustrator in the UK stands at £30. According to another source, Hourly rates for illustrators range anywhere from $25 to $100 and can be higher depending on the area of specialty and the artist's reputation. From this source, you can see the different levels of illustrators and what they charge. So if you look at starting level, the hourly rate starts anywhere from $9. And if you look at, let's say, mid-level illustrator, it goes up to $22. And if you go up to top-level illustrator earnings, $50 per hour. Now, obviously, these are all averages and 
nothing is written in stone and everything depends on what you're working on who you're working with what your skills are and many other variables that i mentioned before but anyway yeah let's continue you can research this yourself and confirm it too but if you do decide to charge hourly for your illustrations it's always best to take the estimates from the standard wages in your market and choose a price that is suitable for your skill level time and lifestyle these things are very flexible and depend on you most of the time i'd also like to clarify that the hourly wages that start from 100 to 250 dollars per hour are for seasoned professionals with years of experience and extensive knowledge on whatever their niche is whether it's detailed background art or something else i thought i made this clear on my thread but some still ran with the idea of me mentioning these high hourly rates and thought that i was telling them to charge those prices when that obviously wasn't the case Many in my Twitter thread were outraged by the numbers I mentioned when, if you really think about it, there shouldn't be anything to be so shook over by. When we look at the hourly rates for plumbers, for example, they start anywhere from $35 per hour up to $200 per hour. The rates are dependent on the skill of the plumber and their work experience. You don't see people getting offended or outraged when a plumber gets their minimum hourly wage, but for some reason it's offensive or quote-unquote delusional when an artist charges the minimum hourly wage for their expertise and work. This is just an example and of course I'm not comparing the work of a plumber to an artist. I'm just comparing the principle of getting compensated for your specific skill. I just thought it would be important for artists to know the general price averages of the industry before setting their prices and potentially avoid getting exploited like I was when I was a small artist. I also want to emphasize that those without an art degree can also charge these rates due to art being subjective and it mostly relying on the skills that you possess rather than a degree, especially when you're working as a freelance artist. That all being said, if you are a beginner artist or new to selling your art, it's completely and totally okay for you to throw everything I said in a box for a time. While you work on your skills, build a clientele, all the while charging less so that you can get experience. I feel like many of the artists that were angry at me for suggesting these quote-unquote crazy prices didn't think they deserved to get paid that much due to still being in early stages of their art journey or were just new to doing commissions. I want to emphasize that it's okay to start off charging less and over time, while you gain experience as an artist, you can slowly start charging more while using the industry standards as your guide. The point of my thread was mostly to give you this information so that eventually when you're ready, you can start upping your prices and getting compensated for your time, experience, skill, and hard work. Second criticism I got regarding hourly rates for artists is that some artists confess to taking days to finishing their work and that if they charged hourly, nobody would be able to pay them with the rates I suggested. This is a valid complaint and in cases like these, it's okay to just charge a flat rate. A flat rate is a fixed price that you give your work and go by, regardless of how long it takes you to make it. This is something many seasoned commissioners are already familiar with and honestly, I agree that hourly wages might not be suitable suitable for everyone. Those that work fast naturally suffer too when using hourly rates, which could come off as a punishment for working efficiently. Those that work slower could have difficulty getting a kick or a commission due to it being too expensive for clients, so my solution to this would be charging a flat rate instead of hourly rates. That way you're guaranteed a paycheck that you've set for yourself regardless of time. I would have added this to my thread on Twitter, but due to being overwhelmed by the responses I was getting, I totally forgot to mention it. So far we've established that the prices I suggested are industry standard rate averages for illustrators and that they are heavily reliant on your skill level and other variables. We've also established that I'm not forcing anyone to go by these prices, but rather I'm just sharing them with everyone in hopes of helping them charge more efficiently for their hard work and not undercharge, especially if they have the skills to charge higher. Well, apparently my thread was delusional, ludicrous, a slap in the face for smaller artists, and terrible advice because I have a larger following. This is all according to the responses in my tweet. And honestly, I want to talk about that, so roll the transition. Hate to break it to you, but no. Most people's art is not good enough to be worth 8 to $9 per hour. Tough shit, that's just how it is. People aren't gonna buy at those rates, and if they ever are, it's probably out of sympathy if anything else. Awful message you're spreading, lol. 
Thanks for the advice, person with 25,000 followers. If I charge anything more than that, I get nothing, so I'd rather make some money than none at all. This is terrible advice for artists in lower thresholds of popularity. I fucking hate these tweets. Like yes, it comes from a good place, but it's so damn ignorant. And it seems artists just forget what being a small artist is like once they're big and well known. In a perfect world, yes, but you're delusional. You need to sell the cheap ones first to build a reputation. If you start right off the bar charging as if you were famous, you won't sell anything. This is great and all, but literally no one would buy that. This post is basically just a suck it up slap in the face for small artists. I have to mention that this only works for artists with huge follower lists. If you're a small artist, it would hinder your chances of getting clients even more. This is terrible advice. Sorry, it comes from a good place, but many artists are not in a position where they can ask a reasonable price and still get commissioned. Just increase your price, you deserve it, is just a slap in the face for those people. It's artist blaming at this point. Their don't charge da 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 sounds like stop being poor. Did they just... What? Maybe do a thread on reading the room? You're literally a popular artist. For small artists, it is doesn't work. I'm trying to help you guys. Jeez, that's not the point. Thanks for your advice, but it truly means nothing. It's truly a slap in the face. Oh my goodness, goddamn. <laughs> Sorry not sorry, but please stop saying shit like this. Small artists require lower prices to even be requested for commissions. It's always 3000 plus follower accounts saying shit like this too. I actually responded to this person by saying, My thread wasn't an attack on small artists or anyone undercharging for their work. It's simply to inform artists what their hourly wages should be so they don't get exploited when taking on commissions. At the end of the day, it's your choice if you take that advice or not. OP. Oh come on guys, expensive commission prices are a piece of cake ooh woo op followers i i have to interject here again because like i fail to see how my follower list has anything to do with the fact that i just shared the regular prices that freelance artists charge am i just crazy am i just like not getting it because this person obviously doesn't think that i get it so um yeah as you heard, the common consensus in the comments was that I, as a 25,000 follower account on Twitter, shouldn't be giving this ignorant and terrible advice to anyone. When if you really think about it, all I really did was tell artists what the minimum average wages are for freelance illustrators and just encouraging them to, you know, value their time and work. But somehow, people really got offended by that. Apparently, this was a slap in the face for some artists, and they proceeded to make this a small versus big artist debate when honestly, this shouldn't have been the case. The misconception in the comments was that follower count has everything to do with how well an artist should be paid, when truly, this is a very misinformed way to think. Follower count shouldn't dictate the prices of an artwork, the artist's skills should do that. The client pays you for your skills, your work, your expertise, your experience, and your time, not your followers. I don't deny that sometimes a brand name or fame could inflate the prices too, but if you're a skilled artist, even with a smaller following, you can still get consistently commissioned with the hourly wages I mentioned earlier. It's all about your ability, marketing, and networking. I'll say this again for the people in the back, your follower count doesn't dictate your commission worth, your skills do. The reality is that yes, it will be more difficult for smaller artists to find commissioners in the first place due to their reach not being so large yet. But you can combat this by diversifying your social media presence and advertising your commissions on dedicated platforms and spaces. You will get hired and compensated what you're worth even as a small artist. If you have the skills, the work will follow. And I'm sure there are plenty of smaller artists out there that have commissions as their main source of income. There there were plenty of smaller artists that make a living doing commissions in my thread too, completely proving those misconceptions of smaller artists not getting commissioned wrong. I believe it's a disservice to small artists out there to tie your worth as an artist on how many numbers you have next to your name. Don't forget that I used to be a smaller artist too. I wasn't born with a large following. I had to work hard to get to where I am. And I took commissions along the way. Though I made many mistakes doing commissions back then, it's possible to get compensated for your work even if you aren't a popular art account. You just have to find the ways. If you want a video of me sharing possible ways or avenues or platforms or anything regarding that side, let me know. I can make a video dedicated to that, but 
this video is going to be too long if I add them here, so I'll just keep this video strictly drama. <laughs> I don't get how my advice was somehow invalid only because I have a large following. Do people not know that I used to be a small artist too? Do people not know that I'm sharing my experiences? Do people not know that the advice I shared was something I had to learn for myself the hard way? And I wanted to share this so that you guys don't have to learn it the hard way too. Obviously, like there's so many factors that come into you charging hourly rates and how much you should charge. If you're a beginner artist, new artist, you're obviously gonna have to charge less than what I shared, but you can always build your way up. Point is that there's so many people that are undercharging right now and creating these amazing masterpieces and charging only $15 for these masterpieces when they've spent like eight hours creating it. That's literally $1.8 per hour, which in my opinion, you deserve more. But again, that's just me. Um, obviously, people don't agree with me on this one. That's just what I think. Anyway. <laughs> I also want to add that another point of controversy came from this specific part of my thread where I said, addition, for those of you worried that you won't get commissioned at all if you charge what you're actually worth, I understand that fear. But wouldn't it be better to wait for someone who pays you at least minimum wage than someone who expects you to work for less than $1 per hour? I got responses that called me privileged, some saying that their bills won't wait for the right client to come by, and other things along those lines. Now I can definitely recognize that this indeed is a privileged way for me to think since I personally wouldn't take commissions that pay me less than $1 an hour. I can also see the side of those that might not have the luxury to pass off any opportunity to get a client so all in all, it's a fair point to make and it's valid. That being said, if you do charge less than $1 per hour for commissions that take you several hours to make, I doubt it will be very sustainable in the long run, but at the end of the day, it's your choice and you can continue to charge those rates if they work for you. If my advice isn't for you, you don't have to take it, and that's completely okay. Not all advices apply to everyone, and I feel like this was a clear case of just that. One last clarification I'd like to make regarding pricing and minimum hourly rates is that this is totally dependent on where you live and your country's economy. What people in the US or let's say UK charge would be completely different than what people in other countries charge, so keep that in mind while deciding your prices. If you're doing international commissions, I'd take into account more common rates than if you did domestic ones. Anyways, I think this video is getting too long, so I'll just move into the last part, which is my final thoughts in all this. This whole fiasco was something else and I'm glad I muted the thread when I did because it was really a Pandora's box that I didn't even know existed. At the end of the day, I'll reiterate what I said in my tweet. Everyone is free to charge whatever they want and nobody is forcing anyone to change their prices or rates. For growing artists, it's okay to start from smaller prices and work their way up to more suitable rates as they evolve and grow. If you're a skilled artist, you should get compensated accordingly, regardless of your follower count. Skill, time, and experience should dictate your prices, not your popularity. Again, I don't deny that fame and notoriety has a hand in inflating an artist's prices, but that doesn't negate that skill and time is what counts the most. The industry prices are there as a guide for freelance artists who are looking to get properly compensated for their work, and these prices should be used as a reference point or an estimate on how you can price yourself. Take into account your skills, experience, and time, depending on if you want to charge an hourly rate or a flat rate, and go from there. I know that nobody asked for my unsolicited opinion, but I shared it anyways because one, I'm messy like that, and two, I truly did have good intentions and wanted you guys to not fall for the same pitfalls as I did when I was in your shoes. I was sharing this information based on my own experiences, and though it won't fit everyone's way of life, I hope that you could have at least taken something of use from it. Let me know what you guys think of all this in the comments because I do want to fix anything I might have gotten wrong or misunderstood. Had I known this to have been such a sensitive topic, I would have tackled it with more care, but what's done is done and I just hope that this video can clarify whatever I left out from my initial thread. 
I'll be lurking in the comments for this video because I'm super curious what you guys think. I would love to hear from industry professionals, art students, freelance illustrators, small artists, and anyone doing commissions what they think about this. Because while these prices might work for me, I would love to know if they really are as absurd as some Twitter users made them out to be. I want to thank my lovely patrons and channel members for being so supportive of me. It's thanks to you guys that I can continue to bring you all new content. So thank you so 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 much for all your love. Thank you to Darcy Rawlings, Nat, Dionara Serges, Jamisha Walker, Celine Bede, Seiji Hito, Eddie Maltinelli, Life on Mars, Hat, Salem Smith, Inova, Neptune, Adrian Charles Cohn, Sammy Special, Nico D'Angelo, Crystal, Chainsaw134, Jillian, JJ, Adam Quentin Colley, Sebastian Lurkin, Gould Wrangler, Isabella, Shady Jinx, Vic Abrantes, Ashley V, Lady Kimono, Jariah Sin, Jasmine Donald, Bear Hands, Black Wolf 275, Katie Alina, Daja Celestia, Split Into Two, Harriet Rose, Paige, Lady Kimono, Cloudy Coffees, Queen British Creates. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. What do you guys think of my thread? Was it helpful? Was it not? What about this video? Did you agree with me or did you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. Bye!